Hi everyone, it's Maggie, and I'm here with my first design team project for Shabby a Chic Boutique um, that's now on Zibit and Facebook, and uh, this is for the month of September. So uh, what I made was, um, it's in the shape of a needle book. You could, you could use this as a needle book, but I was inspired to try something a little different um, from Jean Rag, and um, she made a beautiful, um, it was a pocket book, but when you opened it up inside, it was images, and I just loved it, so I wanted to um, <clears throat> use that idea um, just a little bit differently. So I'm just calling this an, uh, a fabric image folder, and this is the front cover, <clears throat> and I kept the back plain. Uh, let me open it up first. Uh, what I did was I I took muslin and with batting in the middle, and I just sewed all around the whole thing, sewed up the middle, and. Uh, then I proceeded to cover the front and the back with this beautiful material here that Virginia um, 1468 gave me um, to use. And it's an, it's like, uh, I don't know what the fabric itself is. It's like a brocade. Uh, I just don't know if, it, if that's what it is. And it's got some beautiful um, like embroidery on it, flowers. And uh, leaves and that and it's a um, it's almost like a peachy pink color but anyways I covered the front and back with the one piece and then um, I just proceeded to uh, cover the edges now I went along the sides and the top with uh, this flower let me see if I have it right here with this flower trim and I just love that and so I went all along the edging with that and then I took individual three millimeter rhinestone uh, pieces from the cup chain that you can get from Shabby Chic Boutique and I put one in the middle of each rose and then for the bottom this heart trim dangle trim here uh, what I did was this is the trim but what I did was I cut it right across here where um, where the heart meets this top here because I wanted it to look like hearts. And so that's what I did. I just went along the whole bottom and then I took the same uh, rhinestones and I put them in be you know in the middle of each heart. And I did that, you know, front to back. And then uh, I took two doilies, I added the doilies, and then I added the image here, and then I had um, another a piece of a, an old curtain, and I just took off the sides so that I'd have these little pom-pom things, and I just went around the um, three sides of that to cover up the edging of the image. And then... I took um, this piece here, and I don't have another one to show you, but it would normally, this would go flat. And what I did was I brought it together with this uh, piece of ribbon, or double piece of ribbon in order to um, make a bow. And then I just put that on the underneath the uh, image at the bottom. And I love how that looks. And then for the inside, this is the image, the, um, and that's why I called it a folder, because there's no pages in here. And for the inside, I added this embroidered um, material here. I believe I got that from uh, Trisha, a little shabby chic, and I added that like I did to the front. Um, and then I went around the three sides with this um, it's like a scallop one there and then at the bottom I added two 
layers of dangles. Uh, I guess, let me, I added this trim here. Um, over, actually, I added this trim first. And I think she might have um, sold out of it, but what I did was I put this upside down and I put it like that and then I um, glued it in the middle. So I did that first and then I added that trim, that dangle trim underneath. Then I added the leaf trim and let me see if I, yeah. Then I added this leaf trim there along here and then what I did just to kind of finish it off remember when I said I I cut along here with the heart in between the hearts I used that I turned it upside down and I covered the um, the top of that other trim just to kind of uh, finish it off and then I added two of the butterfly dangles one on each side. I added acrylic heart and then a two millimeter uh, rhinestone from uh, her cup chain from the store. <clears throat> and then I just added the two images. I added the images to these. Uh, they're the, both the same and they're um, appliques from a curtain. And so I added one on each side. And that's all I did. I left it um, I did leave it fairly simple, but that's what I wanted to do. I didn't want to take away from the, from the two images or the, um, the applique pieces from the curtain. I just, I wanted to keep it, uh, simple, but I think by adding the butterfly appliques and the hearts and the rhinestones, I think it, you know, it gave it an, a touch of something there so I think it came out fine and when I whenever I you know do my design team projects I try to keep um, non shop items to the barest minimum I can so um, that's why sometimes it doesn't um, you know look as full as you know some of my projects do because I just want to feature um, the the items in the shop. So that's it. That's my project, my first project for September. And I'll be back in a couple of weeks for my second project. I don't know what that is yet. <laughs> I haven't figured out what I'm going to do. But um, Amy's always putting new things in the shop and on Facebook uh, normally every Sunday. So every week there's new things in the store. So please go check it out. I'll put both links in the description box as well as the um, blog, a link to the blog. And if you haven't yet, go check her out. And even if you have, go check it out anyway because, like I said, there's new things all the time. So that's it. And I just want to say thanks for watching, everyone. And I will see you again soon with a new project. Bye for now.